Hi, I'm Chris from Gears and Queers. And I'm Chris from Sparkplug TV. And this is Fun Girly Car Time. Um, anyways, I guess I gotta amp the energy up because we're live. <gasps> we're live? Oh, we're live and in full homosexual color. Hi, Chris. Hello, Mamiana. How are you? I am pussy, slay, boss, the house, step. <laughs> we're, st- we're starting off great. Um, I'm good. I'm good. I am a little overworked, a little underpaid, a little um, stressy Anna. Under fuck. Well, actually, no, I'm very much. Uh, uh, oh, well, I love I, that for you. I've been doing a lot of con- congressional hearings in the bedroom. So, <laughs> congressional yeah, have you not? Hearings. Yeah, have you not heard? heard that. You've never heard what, why, like the word Congress. Funny? You've never heard the word Congress used to, to to describe sexual encounters. No, you conduct you conduct Congress in the bedroom. Yeah, I know no. I'm not wrong in this, and I know I'm not alone in this. I'm not pretending. I'm not pretending that you're not right. I just have never heard that, and I don't think I'm ever going to use that. But like, that's so fun for you. Thank you. Well, you know, but anyway, so yeah, and you're and you're sounding like uh, it's been uh, a, the the denial or the Nile has been dried up recently. There's um, a, when it rains, it pours, and when it's dry, it's a desert, honey. Yeah, I mean, last time was right before our last session, which was a uh, Thursday, a week ago. So it's, yeah, it's been a few days. Okay, that's okay. You're being a greedy bottom because that's a little. I <laughs> topped. It was not bottoming. <laughs> you're being a greedy blouse. Okay, you're being a greedy. Not Femme blouse. top. <laughs> What's a green blouse? Am I a sh- am I a Shein blouse? Because I don't care. I just terrorize like the world and destroy everything that goes my way. Didn't we touch on that Wait, last time? The like, yeah, we did. But did you to the factory? Hmm. Yeah, but did you watch? Did you see that? Like, did you look it up after we talked about that. it? I never did see that. No, girl, you got to look that shit that. up. It is so wild. Yeah, maybe I, I'll send it to you afterwards. I'm terrified, but like, I feel like I have mm. to see it. Speaking of seeing things, did you like the TikTok? I don't even, I haven't even asked you like in person, but have you, did you like the TikTok that we made at the Mom, Mount Mama rally? I, you mean like, did I like, like it as in like tap like, or did I like, like it? That Like, did you sentence. personally like the one that you were in? Like, did you like, because you said that you were haggard and I don't think you looked haggard. I looked moist. Like my hair was all <laughs> flat and like, I just. It was hot. It was hot. You know, I, I was just giving myself shit like, no, but I loved it because we were like cute and fun and like just you were giving bulge. Stuff. I was giving tummy. You uh, <laughs> two things were popping out, honey. <laughs> yeah, two things were popping out. My <laughs> shut the fuck up. Oh, my God. No, but I thought it was funny. You were very quick witted. It's it's sometimes it's hard to play off people because they're not really like they're not camera ready girls like you or me. But like, <laughs> but was that? That would have been like before we did the first episode, right? Because like we did that when we got back yes. from the ride. We did so it, yes, because we because we were wearing the same outfits for the first episode. Yeah, oh, not that anyone saw that because because the cameras died once again. Well, I think every we episode saw we, that, and that's every that episode. <laughs> every episode since then, we have touched on the fact that episode one, the fucking cameras died. <laughs> it's like it's like the season one filter for Drag Race. How like yes. <laughs> Like fucking greasy or whatever. Oh like yes. we just it's our like they like one. gooped Vaseline on the camera. <laughs> the fucking goop. The goop. And now they now they have fifteen thousand dollar packages to go to drag race and it's more of a like I'm t I don't know. I'm tired of drag race a little bit. I have not been watching season eight of All Stars. Like it has just I been so I haven't kept current, but that's just because I'm it, easily distracted. I just think I just think even even if if Heidi in closet and Kahana Montrese both wanted to and Heidi successfully walked off the show and then Kahana Rue literally came out and was like you can't leave <laughs> like and then kicked her off anyway like and I only know that because I watched the pit stop because the pit stop with Bianca is more entertaining to me right now than the actual season itself. Um, I used to be so like well I, I can't remember which season I started watching because I did I didn't chime in until maybe like 11 my old roommate got me into it um okay but like from there for like a while like i was on every main you know every main season every all-stars like i was i was watching religiously like when it came out like everything um but i haven't done that in like the last two or so seasons maybe three at this point 
and I don't know, like, I mean, like a busy, whatever, but like, I guess it just, um, I do really like watching old seasons, even if I know who won, like from like seeing it on the internet or whatever, but well, I mean, there's just, me been, right now. there's just so many seasons that you could easily forget. I mean, you know, I, I am the biggest, the biggest Trixie Mattel stan. Like I know everything about that person. And so like, I like, but looking back at I love the old season, Trixie look at the Barbie premiere. Did you see that? Oh God! Are you kidding? I posted on my like personal Instagram. Eyes. I was like, "Like she did oh, it like she... the way the way that she used to do it all the time, like the very heavy makeup look." The, like, oh the yeah, no, eyes. I saw her re I saw her Trixie video on YouTube where she redid her, and she was like, "This is bringing a nostalgia for me, but also really cringy." And like, and I, but anyway, I, but she she was at the Barbie movie premiere yes. with Margot Robbie and Nicki Minaj and. I f- I was so proud. Of, I'm so proud of her. I I just I can't believe that like the heights that she's like risen and like yes, because just... for someone that got sent home in the first season, uh, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, sent and home, brought back, back, sent home again, and then won All Stars too. Yeah, I mean, I can yeah. tell you everything about that bitch. But you do know that like one of my dreams is to have like a TV show with like a um. Uh, either alternating queens or like one uh, in-house queen like on the show like as like a flag girl um, and then like having like a like a drag race with drag queens they've already people have that already done it amazing like I've, I've seen, seen it before. like Jaguar Land Rover or something did that right yeah and like, like, like Peppermint queens. well no Peppermint and Courtney Act did one and then I think there was a but but I but I would want to do it like all the time like not just like a singular thing like i would want it to be right, like because right. you know how like top gear has like the stig um and yeah and like, the reasonably priced car it's like a, it's a shtick yeah yes and that's like a shtick and i think that would be a great segment so i think so too i think that'd be fun like also like support local drag duh yeah but anyways enough about drag what else is going on how's your weekend my weekend was really sweaty because I spent Ooh. all of it outside doing yard work and cleaning my cars out. Um, oh, yeah. We touched on this last time, didn't we? Um, Miss ML, she's going to be vacationing, um, luxuriating in the body shop for apparently six to eight weeks is what I was told today. So in her absence, I was like, well, you know, Miss ML has long been the workhorse of my stable, right? Like she has to do it mm-hmm. all. That's why. So is, is she going to the glue factory yet? Not the glue factory. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> We're just going to get crushed and made into an EQE. Like, come on. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> With the dancing which, headlights. Did you know? <laughs> have we talked about that? Did you know that the, like, the new electric cars are made in the same factory that was purpose-built for the W163M class? No, I Alabama? did not know that. But that makes sense. That fascinating. But, well, that it's makes like, sense for the, the electrical, because uh, all American electric cars, if you need, if you... They recently passed, like, if you want to qualify for the um, the tax credit, it, you, it has to be manufactured fully in America. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I, I'm There's not a tech- sure if all of them are built there, but I believe that, like, I like the SUVs and, like, I think the EQE. I don't remember what the EQS is. The EQS SUV is for sure because I took a picture of one and checked that before i posted well regardless if it's 22 and and over like it has to be manufactured here or it won't uh qualify for the tax credit yeah wow i didn't realize that i'm sure that's to incentivize like american manufacturing and all that because we're like scared. well yeah that and i mean like trying to uh not rely so much on like china and the semiconductor issues and i mean like that's the whole reason why that happened oh my god my coworker, did I tell you this? She has a 2017 Rogue Sport Nissan, mm, and the mm-hmm. cooling fan died. And like, they, like they told her they can't replace it because like it's on nationwide back order. And so, like, is it is it a recall? I don't believe it was a recall. Um, but I think that they're just like really bad. Like the parts just suck, and they are. It's just one fan, which I don't think I've seen a car that has like just one. Like you usually have like the radiator and a condenser fan for the AC. Uh-huh. Um, but like her car just like was overheating cause the fan died and it's Atlanta in the middle of July. Yeah. So we're looking, we're looking for a, um, an aftermarket one that is hopefully worth its salt to get that fixed for her. But isn't that crazy? Like, I don't know if that's like chip shortage stuff, like supply chain still fucking it up, but apparently like imagine going to the dealer with a car that is six years old 
And they're like, we literally can't fix it. We literally can't tell <laughs> yeah. you when we can fix it. Like what the, like we live in like the weirdest timeline for shit right now. It, it just, it, things we took for granted for so long are just like, 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 can you imagine really? Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I couldn't imagine. I, I would hope not. Um, I mean, what if you could, maybe she could like MacGyver one and she could take like a plastic plate and just like cut it into a fan shape and then just like stick it on. A plastic <laughs> plate. You know. I like, was like, I was like, get up, get under there with like one of those like clacky, cla- you know, fans and just like, just get, just, uh, like, just so just like have a, just have a homosexual just continually clacking yeah. their fan like at a it, circuit party. <laughs> I mean, you know, well, let's go out there. We'll convert a few because that's clearly how it works. And we'll just get a gay to go sit under the hood of every Nissan Rogue and just keep her cool. I can't believe I said that. <laughs> um, Oh, my God. Well, I hope the best for your friend and her Nissan Rogue Sport. I actually don't dislike those that much. I actually think they're kind of cute and I because I sold one it to somebody at Carvana. And they're cute. I, I like these. I don't love these SUVs that are marketed as SUVs, but they're literally hot hatches, like the Ionic 5 and the Kia EV6 and all that stuff. Like, I just... Yeah. It's an oversized hot hatch. I don't know. but But, like... I do kind of like these miniature SUVs that they're making. I don't know what it is about those, You're but I actually like, the like Chevy those. Chevy Trax and stuff like the new one. Yeah, like I like I love the new Chevy Trax. Oh my god, it is. It looks really good, especially. Uh, I mean, like the the bar was on the floor with the last one, right? So, like, I mean, we really there did wasn't not even have a bar. Go. There wasn't even an existent bar. The, the the bar was not that you we couldn't find it because no i mean it just was not cute to me the old one uh, well i feel like the i feel like it looks really good well and i totally agree and i i know that like hate on my tiktok has been like a continuing theme on this podcast but like i got a lot of flack for speaking positively on the tracks's design language and i was appalled and and shooketh by the fact that I was, I was just, I was taken aback by how much vitriol I had caused by espousing my own opinion on the on the design, and and I, because they, I think they did a great job, and and I also think that like it doesn't look like an entry level car, and everyone's like, yeah, of course it looks like an entry level car, and I'm like, it does not. No, it actually does look quite nice. I think. Um... Probably we'll see like the interior is like not that great because like you you get it like really cheap, but you can also get it with some nice things. Right. But can I say like something controversial yet brave? Um, Sure. And maybe you'll share this uh, sentiment with me. I actually think you probably will based on what I know about you. But ever since I've had the ML to bring Miss ML back up again, um, I understand. I really, really understand why people buy SUVs like and you know, mm-hmm. mine's like a little quirky, right? She's not car based. She's she's taller, but she's not like super big. But so here's the thing: I sit like 18 feet up higher. I can see where I'm driving. A concept, right? Like I get that. I get why people like that. Also, if you're gonna have, you know, maybe not four cars like I have, but if you're gonna have one car, doesn't it make sense, like objectively? To have a car that's kind of just good at a lot of stuff, like can handle your infrequent trips to like Home Depot to buy a bag of mulch once every five years or like, you know, have some people in your car. Like I, I, I never quite. And this is coming from somebody who has two sedans and a coupe. Never quite understood why people like vilify other people for liking an SUV. I think that a lot of them are just kind of like boring and like all look the same and that's its own can of worms. But like, I I get it. Like if that's going to be your one car and you don't really care about having like a sports car or like, I guess having like the best mileage because you would want the smallest car possible, they could make sense. And I get why people buy them. No, I, yeah, I totally agree too. I mean, I, when I started my channel, I was like, oh, I hate unibody SUVs. Oh, why Why is the market just oversaturated with these fucking SUVs? Blah, 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 blah. Because people are buying them. Yeah, and it's like capitalism breeds innovation, but yet everything's a fucking unibody SUV. And But I get it. I, and and now, and a two-liter turbo. <laughs> anyway, um, but I... 
I am. Maybe it's because I'm getting older. Maybe it's because I'm in my thirties. Maybe delete old. Delete it old, but not never bald. Not bald. But there's nothing wrong She's with being bald, bald. But I'm. But I'm not bald. The, uh, my grandfather. Yeah. My yeah. grand. My maternal grandfather had a great set of hair, and I am lucky to also have a great set of hair. But my maternal grandfather had more hair than I do when he was like ninety, and I don't know what to do with that. But whatever. Slay grandfather. Um. <laughs> <laughs> and you just said slay grandfather <laughs> oh, we're going to hell well okay. i mean i always i always think about like because like my grandfather died when he was when i was 10 and so i always I'm think sorry. about like what would he oh girl it was like 22 years ago um if i would always <laughs> i'm still not over it <laughs> But I my do. I do. Grandfather died when I was ten. Oh my god, twins! Wow, both of our Same paternal time. grandfathers died at ten. Wow, we do have a lot of weird stuff in common. We really do have like our names and our yeah, died our gr- <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> There's not shit else. Neurodivergence, perhaps. Well, you're undiagnosed. Yeah, well, I'm not. <laughs> oh, baby, baby queen. Yes, I am diagnosed. I am on anti-anxiety medication. Okay, well, close enough, whatever. Okay, girl, we need to bring it back in. Okay, we <laughs> are... So all Wait, I'm right, trying to okay, say... Let's read. All I'm trying to say is that I understand now the the, utilit- the utilitarian part of the S and the V and the U all mashed together. I get it. The lot of the SVU. The lot of the... Bomb, bomb. <laughs> that was my... <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Wait, ah! Okay, so did you see the one where it was Padam and then they did the Law and Order? Boom, boom. Oh yes, I did. I did see that. It was a drag queen that did that, right? Yes, it was. Yes. Yes. Um, but SUVs, yes. So yeah. So when I had the ML, I was like, eh, whatever. Like you know, it, it is what it is. I didn't really use it for much, like uh, like SUV stuff. Like I, it was mm-hmm. just a pavement princess. Um, and then. I had the Elantra and the Elantra was just too small. Like it was just too small for me to do anything. Like I could barely move anything. And now I have this truck and I'm like, you know, this truck, I just, I've always wanted a pickup truck. Like, I mean, like my, my dream pickup truck is to, it, originally it was a, uh, a Raptor, an F-150 Raptor. Um, but since I have driven the TRX, I have switched over to Ram uh, girly, I do love me a Ram TRX. Uh, that thing has, it's just stupid in the best way possible. Um, it's got 700 horsepower. It's got a supercharger. It's got launch control. It's just, it's stupid. Um, and it's like, oh, it's like $112,000. But so, but like, you know, I'll be okay with just, you know, my, my, my six cylinder, uh, you know, naturally aspirated Colorado. And, you know, it tows almost 8,000 pounds. Um, I have helped That's a friend a move with it. It gets 25 miles per gallon on the highway, which is not terrible. Bless. Um, it's not bad. You know, it's got a, uh, I think it's got like an 18 gallon gas tank. So I like, I, I have, I could drive it on the highway for 400 miles. But the problem that I'm in right now is my payments. And like, you know, I am taking on too much. Like, you know, I don't, I'm doing this, you know, YouTube and TikTok and uh, podcast gig full time. And so yeah. like I, you know, I have two car payments. Like I basically, I mean, this might be too much tea or TMI or like whatever, but like I have a car payment of like $800 a month. And it's like, I don't even have like a fucking, uh, you know, uh, a BMW or something. Like it's just, it is, well, I do have a BMW, do have a BMW. but it's not like, <laughs> but it's not like a brand. It's not like the XM or something. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just, it's just a fucking 98, which I love it to death. Don't get me wrong. But like, I am trying to sell it right now because I'm trying to consolidate my cars mm. and I'm like, I don't know. I'm looking at other cars. I'm looking at like a Cadillac sell both and buy one car. Oh, I'm trying to sell both by one car or I'm trying to sell my BMW and then put that money towards my like buy out my lease and then put my money towards that because I am like the lease queen. I have turned into a lease queen and I don't know why Uh, it just like because I like a new car and I I change cars like I change clothes. Mm. And so like, you know, I just I want something new every year. Um, 
And so, you know, and of course, fucking Carvana is going to give me like a thousand over what Kelly Blue Book says that my car is even valued at, like for the Colorado. And so it's just like, it's crazy. No, but I was looking at refinancing my uh, Colorado and I found Navy Federal Credit Union for like 4.75, but I'm pretty sure that that's if you have an 800 or higher um, uh, credit score. And then, um, uh, but everywhere else I have seen, the highest that I've seen is 16.9, which is the most predatory loan I have ever seen in my entire life. Girl, girl, I have a story for you. I, I love stories. Of course, my I'm basing this off of like what the salesperson said. But when I worked at CarMax, um, part of my job was like when the cars would be sold, you know, we would bring them around, take off the window sticker, wipe off the residue, like put it through the wash, fill it up, all that stuff. It must have been like a 2012 Optima Turbo. Remember when they were doing like that had like 280 horsepower? It was a nice car. Mm-hmm. Um. It, I don't think it had very many miles on it. This was probably 2013. It was probably like, you know, pretty new. And That's the, when Kia first started to serve cunt. Yes, correct. And so the, the salesperson comes out and I, I forget the math, but I, I did the math like backwards from what he said, because he told me that this person had a 25% interest rate. <laughs> Which I'm pretty sure is like the maximum like legal one you can have. And so I God only knows. And the thing is, like, I'm sure you saw it when you were at Carvana. People that have no goddamn business buying a car would traipse on into CarMax with the shittiest trade in that they're underwater on that they weren't taken care of like it's beat to fucking back. And they're rolling that debt into something that they're already upside down on. But I digress this Optima. It, the the total of payments, I want to say the car was maybe like twenty five, like the list price of the car, because you know no haggle, whatever. The total of payments was more than double the list price of the car, because I just I just did the math of like the you know the it's a seventy two month or whatever the fuck it was with the, this payment, blah blah blah. Can you imagine? So you're telling me and that it would have been like fifty thousand yes. dollars for a fucking used Optima? Yes, and they're I mean, not even that new. Car, they're not even yeah. that new. And it was a year old at the time, right? Like, so it was a pretty new car. But, like, that that car, those cars were, like, blowing their engines up. Like, that's not a car that's yeah. keeping value like a Camry or an Accord like, no. would be. And so it's just, like, it's insane. And it's, like, that, that, you know, it's, like, you hearing you talking about, like, you know, like, I, I want to have a new car versus me being, like, hmm, what if I drove something from the 18th century every day to work? Uh, it, it's just nuts because... Crank that was, that was <laughs> <laughs> a crank. putting a crank on the front and just can you imagine me just shoving a fucking like lever into the grill of my accord and just be like let's crank that wouldn't even work it's sideways but like you know let's crank this car up <laughs> oh, now I broke galloping a galloping yeah literally galloping to work on my fucking what like Shel- shetland dog <laughs> uh, the ranger is almost big enough you want to where is he He's like, absolutely not. He will not be sitting on my back. So we have had celebrities buy. Well, so when I worked at Carvana, we had celebrities buy from Carvana, like at least two that I knew of. Um, like and I don't No, but we had access to the database. Well, OK, one uh, one celebrity from our location because she lives near Fayetteville and another celebrity out in California. But we found that out because. It had like gotten around the Carvana slack that um, this celebrity bought a Range Rover Sport with like the worst credit imaginable, but like was financing it, but like didn't need to finance it. But I guess celebrities um, like to finance. I I don't know. I mean, there was no she had no. I don't know. She had no business finance. Like, she could have easily bought that thing cash. I mean, knowing who she was, and I don't really want to dox her, but, like, I mean, I saw her. her, I saw messages, but maybe not on the pod, because I want to know. I I saw her driver. I saw her driver's license, and it was, I'll I'll, I'll bleep it. It was, (laughs) um, and she had an interest rate of, like, 25%. Yeah. But, yeah, so I'm trying to sell my BMW right now. Um, it's not going amazing, sweetie. Um, it is, 
Uh, I have had one person come and look at it and test drive it. And so I had this, I met this man at Target and for once, not fellatio uh, for reasonings as I was meeting somebody. Thank you. Met him to test drive my BMW and he test drive. Yes. Test drive my BM, my stick. Mm hmm. Um, and he was a lovely, uh, lovely man. Um, mm. Very, uh, his line of work is very lovely. He works for a lovely cause. Like he teaches kids not to be abducted and to defend themselves. Like a great line of work, great guy. And he test drove uh, the BMW and mm. I rode with him and he was like, and I was trying to tell him that like, it might not be the fastest in the get up and go department, but like it's got manual mode. And if you, mm-hmm. um, shift it manually like it's great you can actually drive it really quickly uh because the automatic shifter just is it's like it stays at third gear for like whether you're you know uh like going off the line or if you're trying to accelerate like mm. quickly like it's just not it just stays in second or in third gear um which is not out. yeah so but and i and i was like go ahead throw it into manual mode go ahead mm. do it do it girl he was like telling me that he was like, oh, I used to drive stick shifts all the time. I used to be blah, 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 blah. He could not fucking shift up to save his life. He was not. He, he I think maybe he was afraid to redline it maybe because it wasn't his car and I'm trying to sell mm-hmm. it. But he was like, he kept talking about how he wanted to get it up to speed and he just like wasn't driving it. And I'm like, and he's like complaining to me that it's not fast enough. And I'm like, because you're not driving it right. Like, I, I, I hate that. Is it is it one of those ones? And that- I think that, and I think, oh, wait, wait. So I think that that is just the reason why he told me no today. But sorry. Oh, is it one of those ones where it has like the um, it, like there's an M, but there's also like a sport mode or whatever, so like it'll like hold the gears longer. I remember like years ago I tested. Wait, no, it doesn't have it doesn't have a sport mode. It just has the M and the A for automatic or M for manual. Oh, no sport okay, mode. Okay, okay. I drove like a '96, I think M3 convertible. And I remember being like in just like drive. I was like, this is kind of a fucking slug. Like I was like, this is not cute. But then like, um, I think maybe because it was an M, it had a sport mode. I don't think I was doing a manual, like clicking it into gear myself. Um, but once it was like in that other mode, I was like, oh, this car actually hauls ass. Like it's all in the programming. And I, I feel that way about like most automatic transmissions. Like, it is completely, it is completely all in the programming. It is just yeah. ridiculous because most of them just aren't. I mean, and especially for the Roadster, it's not programmed to be the M because the M is, is probably where they put the ratios at a much lower ratio than, mm. than the fucking, than my car. So um but yeah i mean i'm just not the zippy queen she is when i'm when i'm driving it the way that i want to drive it with it in second gear most of the time she is zippy um which is most of the time and i might even oh no i can't bring her down to atlanta because we need to tow anyway yeah. <laughs> mm. um, tow, just honey just tow her down <laughs> oh i could tow her down but that would be a lot more money It'd be a lot of gas right and that would be that would make no sense why would i do that <laughs> You have like Let's 70 cars. You have 70 Atlanta. cars. Listen in Atlanta. You might get a buyer here. Oh, yeah, maybe. And be like, I'm actually charging like $72,000 for delivery. White glove. Well, so I want seven for it, but I'm, I'm okay at $6,500. So if you're listening and you want to buy a gently used, uh, recently maintained up to spec uh, BMW 98M uh, Z3, girl, hit me up, DM me. Slide, slide right into those DMs. What did you do to your car over the weekend? You know, we do, we have gone on so many several tangents. We didn't even get to talk about what you actually fucking did with your car. Okay, so I got like anything that I thought I might need out of the ML. I took the tow hitch off because I didn't want anybody to steal it. Um, just vacuumed her out, like made sure she was clean. Um, and then that kind of started me on this little spree. Um, so I, I did the same for Miss Coupe, the red Honda, like cleaned out her. Is that why you didn't text me back for like six hours? No, like 100% yes. Like like, you literally, I was like, where is she? I fell off. I fell off. Like, and I, I don't know where my phone was. It was the first moment of my life that I experienced peace. Um, but so that was Saturday and Saturday I did the interior of the 2006 Accord. Um, yeah. I had not properly like washed or like detailed that car since having it. Right. So, I mean, like 
I went through and like wiped down every fucking surface, like vacuumed every fucking piece of carpet, cleaned and conditioned the leather. Um, she is really, really clean inside right now. And so like she looked uh, clean, crisp and like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I thought that the steering wheel leather was like worn, but it really it was just that dirty. Ew, (laughs) girl. Oh, my God. This morning I'm driving it to work. And I like keep like rubbing my hands on the steering wheel. I'm like, oh my god, because like the leather is like pretty much pristine on the steering wheel. And I'm like, wow, it feels so nice. Like it's like it like almost like you were jerking off your steering wheel, like borderline. Like I, I was just like, it feels so nice and luxurious. But so, um, that was Saturday, and then on Sunday, I um, I washed it. No, I washed it Saturday too. But then I, I polished the whole car, um, in the garage, and that. Like I, my whole body still aches like, you know, because you're just like holding this buffer that doesn't weigh a whole lot, but doesn't it's not exactly lightweight. And you're like, like all over the place. And then you're like getting down to like buff the doors and stuff. And but I mean, she looks really good. It looks really clean. Did and you did also that. use it to buff your hole? I somehow don't have a response for that. <laughs> um, oh, my God. We I should come out with hole, like we should hairy. we should. Girl, I just I just came up with an idea. Are you ready for this? I'm so sorry, anal bleach, yes. a- anal bleach, but like car related, and call it like hole buffer. <laughs> hole buffer. That's funny. Think about it. Hole I'm buffer. I'm trying so desperately not to. <laughs> and then what you could, and like, then like the picture. Oh what if it was pic- like that, like that, 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 that um, the, the 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 coffee thing where you spread it on your butthole before you like um eat ass. Stop! You know what I'm about? Stop! My man is my man is gonna buy that for me. He's actually looking at buying that, but it's for like forty dollars. No, for his hole. I'm the top in this scenario. Some sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> did you see the one where it's like there's like a there's like a cartoon about it it's like it's like babe where's the whatever the fuck and it's like the mom is like this hand scrub you got is so nice and it's like no i have not seen that oh my god <laughs> i'm like barf but like oh you my probably god. make your own like girl just use some like fucking i don't know well i was thinking like it could be like the imagery for the the product could be like a tire, and then like the it could have like like the oh my god the, the wheel um, spokes would could look like a butthole like a puckered hole. Yeah, either that or like the the air. What is it called? The stem, the air stem, the valve stem, the valve stem. The valve stem could look like a puckered hole. What if we what if we tabled that particular idea? Um. We're going to enter the exotic hole scrub business. Uh, you heard it here first. Um, but why don't you tell me a <laughs> story? <laughs> why are we? Why, I feel like we're both struggling today. Are we? I don't. I, you know, it's so funny. I thought about that today. I was like, are we going to struggle on the pod today? Um, no, and I, think just, I don't I think, think there's just some stuff that you're probably gonna not. Like I don't think through. I don't think we're struggling though because I think that we are we are coming up with some wild. Sh- I just came up with a whole scrub thing called what did it, what what did I call it? <laughs> whole buffer. You th- that, whole buffer. Whole buffer. That's I, that's creative. What we should do is like a line or like a of- butt plug shaped as a spark plug. That could be merch for your channel. I know. <laughs> it probably wouldn't be very fun to put in. And pro- but people would probably actually buy my merch at that point. If you did create a spark plug shaped butt plug, mm-hmm. I would put it in my ass. That was that was. <laughs> and that I was, was going to. Oh. Nobody has ever said <laughs> those words in that sequence before. I am. A trendsetter. <laughs> you know somebody has had to have shoved a spark plug up oh their ass God. at some point. Because oh literally God. I've heard horror stories of ER doctors that have just like have a list, a laundry list of shit that people put up their ass. We had this on the discussion on the docket for last time, but we never talked about it, did we? My tweet about putting the cactus in my ass. We did not discuss What? This. No. Okay, so like I, it must have been either the end of 2022 or like the beginning of 2023. I tweeted 
it was like a quote tweet about the Cybertruck. And I was like, if Tesla delivers one parentheses, one Cybertruck. Oh, to we a, talked about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, then I will put a cactus up my ass. <clears throat> this was like during 2023. They deliver one to a customer, like a retail customer. And so it kind of like, I don't think it did like crazy numbers, but like the stands came for me and they were like, adding like a tweet bot to be like, remind me on December 31st of 2023 to check on this. And I'm like, okay, girly pops. It is July 11th as of the date of this recording. Um, how is that going? It doesn't seem like not it's great. going particularly well. No, um, it's not. I think my butthole is safe. Um, yeah, I don't, I I don't want to like jump the gun here. Sure. But like the boom, boom. <clears throat> I am the boom, boom gun. <laughs> But, like, I felt so secure in saying mm. that. And I'm going to stick to my word. If that, if there's a cyber truck that comes out in 2023 and is delivered to a customer, you will see a cactus go up to my ass and inside of it on, like, I don't know, maybe, like, Patreon. We should just make, make that, like, a, a podcast feature. Sure. Like, a, like yeah, a podcast uh, insider episode. Yes. Oh, it. yeah. We're not um, giving and I, cactus hole away for free. Right, and I I get sixty percent just because I'm the producer, <laughs> and you're the talent, and that's how Hollywood works. <laughs> As showbiz baby, uh, you want to be famous? You gotta shove that cactus up your ass. <laughs> this is how we're gonna accidentally uh, start a new porn industry. We are we are literally what the fuck is wrong with us? Um, Everything. anyways, ev- like what the fuck? Okay, so um. I have some, so my cousin works at Honda in Ohio, and he said that he recently saw a cyber truck at the the course, the test track that they have up there. Um, and apparently all the OEMs use it, um, and they have to be respectful of them. And like, they're not allowed to have their cameras, they're not allowed to have their phones, like they tape their phones mm-hmm. over and keep them in a locker. Um, wow. But... Apparently the cyber truck was camouflaged, but it's like, how the fuck are you gonna cyber how are you gonna camouflage something that is like eight bit, like on wheels? Like I don't know. <laughs> how are you gonna camouflage that. a doorstop? Like, come on. Yeah, like literally a paperweight with four wheels. Like, I don't get it. And yeah. A parallelogram. I don't fucking know field <laughs> geometry. <laughs> <laughs> Did I make you spit your water out? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, a parallelogram. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck kind of shape that is. <laughs> I don't either, but it's a shape. <laughs> it's geometric as fuck. I mean, my oh. initial thought about the my initial thought about the Cybertruck was that it looked like the Warthog from Halo. Yeah, but because like, if, like, like, if, like 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 if you were like if you were like me and you grew <laughs> right. Right, on Windows 95. So, I mean, like, if you were like me and you grew up straight, uh, you played Halo. So, <laughs> um, I mean, I do, I mean, I do, I do love Halo and I do love video games. But anyway, um, besides the She's point, so she is a gamer with a Y gamer. Anytime I hear anything about Elon Musk or Tesla, I physically shit I eat it and I shit it out again. Like I hate it. (laughs) I think I'm losing my mind. I love you so much. I love you so much. I literally. Is that why? Yes. No, literally. And I don't have the courage to. And you just said, I literally just got done before we got on this call. I literally just got done editing a TikTok. And I was like talking about how um, the ES uh, 300H is the most bought um, mid size luxury sedan on the market. Um, wow. But the most bought mid size luxury sedan on the market, I'm using air quotes for those just listening, is. The Model Three, and in in the in the video, I'm like, I don't really count her. She's not really luxury. Also, the build quality, you know. And I'm like, well, I'm literally like walking back as I'm saying that, and I'm like, kind of like yeah. lightly stepping. And so the fact that you just said that on air, and like I it, like that validates me honestly because I was like, oh my god, 
I don't want to talk. I don't want these OEMs to think that I'm just going to absolutely just rip them apart because that's not fair. But here's the but thing. But I think it's fair to Tesla. I don't know. I actually, I actually <laughs> liked the Model 3 that my friend had as a car. I thought it was a great car. Honestly, like I liked driving it. I did not. It's like uncomfortable. It. Well, I'm an average height human being. So remember, everything is nice for me. I'm no, I'm talking about the seat cushion. The seat cushion was, I mean, I don't think I have a bony ass and that, and I also don't have a dumpy, but like that thing, I have a very like a mumpy, a mid range, butt. a me- So you have a the Muppet. S300H of asses. Yes, I have the three ES three hundred. It's a hybrid. My ass is a hybrid. Um, that's the that's the episode name. My ass is a hybrid. Either that or whole buffer. <laughs> Honey, she's not versatile. She's a hybrid. <laughs> oh, oh! Why have we not used that? Coining it now. This is a canonical event. Yes. Where were we? Going oh my god, that would oh, be great. For, to- that would be great for merch. She's not versus she's a hybrid. Yeah. I'm writing this down. I mean, we've we have coined and said several things that could easily be bought and sold. <clears throat> I want to finish my thought. I thought I I'll think, allow it. <laughs> I think that the Model 3 is an entertaining vehicle to drive. I don't mm-hmm. think that the vehicle itself is that awful. What I absolutely have negative tolerance for, zero. Fucking none of it at all is Elon Musk. The hubris, the way that that, I mean, this was even, I had these feelings before the Twitter like takeover. The fact that he was like forced to buy it because of some dumb little joke he made and the way that he's running it into the ground that he thinks he's so much smarter than everybody else. His hubris is the reason I cannot stand Tesla people. And I guess Tesla as a brand. Um, and I think it will be like his own fucking downfall. And, um, all of that is full circle as to why I said I'd put a literal cactus in my ass if they delivered mm. one of those vehicles. Cause do you remember that came out in 2019? That was when oh, the Cybertruck yeah, debuted. Oh yeah, the Cybertruck debuted. That in happened 2019. in 2019. Yes, because it was right after Gears and Queers began existing. Oh my God. Reaction video. And that was and that and you're ta- and reacting to him throwing that thing at the yes. truck and it and yes. it broke the truck. That was 2019. Bro, what the fuck is four, time? That was like if not four years ago, almost four years ago. So that's what I'm saying. Like, it, 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 at what point? Like, it, it just doesn't make any sense. And I feel like I've talked about this for too much at this point. But we have ta- we have talked about Elon and Tesla for like a good 20 minutes. He fires me up in a way that is not pussyana. It's not pussy on it. It's not kind. And I get it. And I, I echo everything that you say. Um, enough about egomaniac billionaires. Um, what uh, what are we doing next weekend? Next weekend, you are coming to Atlanta. And we're going to take Miss Polaris Sportsman 570 Ride Command Edition out to do some fun girly trail time. And we are going to put more than just a half hour on her engine. <laughs> you know, she is at 0.65 hours right now. So I don't like Oh, okay. So she's yeah. got 45 minutes on her. Okay, got it. <laughs> yes. uh, no, no, technically like 40 minutes. <laughs> you know what I was planning to do with her this weekend was it has a winch built in, right? And there's a tree that fell on my backyard. So I'm like, I'm going to put out the winch this bitch up. I, I was an Eagle Scout. I know how to tie a rope lashing around a felon log. Felon? Fallen? Wait. But like. Fallen? Fallen, yeah. By the album Evanescence. Fallen by Evanescence. Anyway, I. Don't know how that's going to go, but like Miss Little Four Wheel Drive, my backyard, like you can't get a car back there, but you can, like, the gates are wide enough that I can get the ATV through. So I'm going to try that. But we are going to take her up to some like OHV trails, little fungerly, like mud, maybe some river crossings. You're going to bring Miss Drone. We're going to get hot girl pics of us taking our helmets off and swinging our luscious wigs around. <laughs> Yeah, so that's so that's what we need to talk about. We need to talk about like what props we're getting, and then we also just I I just imagine this whole thing is just going to be one like hour long slow mo video of us just like being oh, yeah. serving cunt the whole nothing, time. Nothing will be shot in a regular <laughs> frame rate. It's all going to be like like I'm going to have like yes. <laughs> I'm going to have just like because pre- I bite my nails, so I'm just going to have like press on nails like for for acrylics and like yeah, <laughs> I'll just be like. Ugh. 
Yeah, uh, just like as like and like um maybe I should bring my heel because I have those red uh those red padded leather uh uh heels. They're not they're not high heels, but they're like boots. They're like high heel boots. And I feel like I should bring those. Um we're gonna do yeah. We're not even gonna drive it, right? We're just gonna <laughs> we're just gonna park it in the mud and you're gonna be like <sighs> Yeah, no, it's just gonna be fully like OnlyFans, like, but with this Polaris ATV, and the PR guy is not gonna know what hit him. <laughs> He's gonna be like, actually, I'm deleting both of you off of this planet because this yeah. is verifiably insane. Rank. <laughs> but since um, this ML isn't here, you're gonna have to bring your Truckiana. Yes, Miss Clariana Pussyot. Clariana. I'm 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 straight now. I can't do, I can't do this anymore. Um, what if we accidentally no, but- <laughs> converted ourselves? We by being such a parody of ourselves, we both superseded the queerness and made ourselves straight. Wouldn't that be something? That would be a world first, I think. <laughs> You just have like a psychotic break and like tomorrow you're like, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, yeah. no, but I, I think I rip off my earrings and I'm like, I'm going to go suck a titty. I'm going to, I love dancing. Rare. Uh, uh, that was, that was me <laughs> saying beer, beer. And anyway. you have to say like, a um, beer. no, but like, so. No, but what I'm picturing is just like that whole Charlie's Angels oh. clip from the. F- Can you let me fucking say something without you perverting it? <laughs> Fine. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Um, uh, but I just want to do that, like that scene from Charlie's Angels that I put on my like Instagram, where like they're at that motocross park yes. looking for the creep, the creepy thin man, and like Lucy Liu is in that cunty purple outfit, and um, oh, and her. I that, and she's like, no, no, like to that man that's trying to get her number. That mm-hmm. that I have talked about this on my social media before, but like that literally was like the height of my sexual awakening that and like the spice world movie with the butts with the backup dancers. That was the the first, that was the first, the movie where they have, like they have a tour bus. That's like 72,000 square feet inside. Yes. yes. And she's like the little Gucci dress to the little Gucci dress. (laughs) And so, and so that was the first, that was the first one. And then, but the second, well, and then the second one was the Batman movie with the nipples. And then the third one, I think, was... Oh, come on. The George Clooney Batman with the fucking Robin with the nipples. I can't remember exactly what you mean, but I was thinking about how when I was like... I must have been like five. I like kept a magazine page of the Backstreet Boys. And like I think that that is the first memory I have of like realizing that i had paid like attention attention to yeah the, a period paid attention because we yeah, all know period. it ain't happening anymore but um yeah how old were you five. Oh my god oh my god another another similarity we were both five. Oh yeah no i was yes. definitely five no because i i was like the most conscious i think at five and then i like um Play, I had this playmate named Nick uh, when I was five, and I just remember I I, ne- I will never forget. I feel like I'm in therapy now. I will never forget um, when my mom was like, "Okay, it's time for Nick to go." I literally threw the biggest fucking temper transfer. I was like, "I don't want him to go." Abandonment issues are starting now. Here we go. And 32 years later, you know, 26 years later, here I am still having abandonment issues. Um, but so, well, if Susan would have just let Nick stay over. <laughs> obviously it was um, simple. obviously but um but yeah so the charlie's uh, to jesus christ we talked about that for like five minutes but now <laughs> to round that back out my bit my my other awakening was a charlie's angels movie with the ferrari f1 and then the no not the f1 the um oh jesus christ what was that <clears throat> Char- charlie's in yes okay well it was charlie's angels one and two but was Charlie's Angels, well, with the Enzo in the second movie with Demi Moore, and then I think this was in the, no, and then also in the second movie, the motocross scene, mm. where they were looking for the creepy thin man, yeah, and and cunt was served. So, anyway. Naturally. Naturally. Yeah, and so, that's, that's very obviously going to be us in the um, not sporty sportsman 
which is, you know, for like doing work. Do you have like, do you have a helmet? Yeah. Do you have like, get like um, a bodysuit? No. Should we get one? Aren't they expensive? Are they? Like a couple hundred at least, right? <sighs> Should we do a sewing challenge like on RuPaul's Drag Race and make our own? <laughs> There's a callback. That's comedy, baby. Us in the in my garage being like, we're in the work room. <laughs> And we're gonna put together. And then like and then like I open the door and I'm like, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> and it's just like you with like a roll of duct tape like wrapping crap in it. Like, yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Um, I don't think we need those. Um, but we should probably just like wear jeans and like other cute little fun things that'll get dirty. Okay. We'll All right. Towel Liana's. Tawaliana's was not in the Bible. <laughs> I, I regret to inform you that was not in the Bible. But um, can you imagine? I don't. Can you imagine in like, I guess it would be BC because Christ, right? Like, imagine just like fucking like five BC, and you're just like Jedediah, bring me a Tawaliana. <laughs> are you Are you okay? Do we need to cut? Are, I know we need to cut. I need to eat and go to bed. <laughs> so, on that hallucinogenic note, <laughs> we are going to end today's episode. Thank you guys so much for listening, for watching. If you are on YouTube, please don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, where, listen to wherever you can. We are this close to being monetized on Spotify. Please support us on Spotify. Um, if you are a person who desperately needs our episodes, four to five days in advance then check us out on <laughs> then check us out on apple podcast subscriptions for a meager two dollars a month you can get our podcast subscriptions based program and get your episodes early how about that how yeah, about that apples for just two dollars a month you can sponsor a mentally unstable emergency top two of them <laughs> <laughs> okay goodbye goodbye bye <laughs> bye <laughs>